Hi, and welcome back to Don't Sweat the Small Stuff, and it's all small stuff. I'm your host, Lewis. Good morning. It's uh, 8.29 a.m. on Friday, November 20th, 2020, broadcasting from beautiful Ridgewood, Queens. Uh, I haven't been up this early in probably a year, but I've got my schedule back um, on track. Um, so let's just get on with it then, hey? Chapter 20. Once a week, write a heartfelt letter. This is an exercise that has helped change many lives, assisting people in becoming more peaceful and loving. Taking a few minutes each week to write a heartfelt letter does many things for you. Picking up a pen or typing on a keyboard slows you down long enough to remember the beautiful people in your life. The act of sitting down to write helps to fill your life with gratitude. Once you decide to try this, you'll probably be amazed at how many people appear on your list. I had one client who said, I probably don't have enough weeks left in my life to write everyone on my list. This may or may not be true for you. But chances are, there are a number of people, a number of people in your life, or from your past, who are quite deserving of a friendly, heartfelt letter. Even if you don't have uh, people in your life to whom you feel can write, Go ahead and write the letter to someone you don't know instead. Perhaps to an author who may not even be living, whose works you admire. Or to a great inventor or thinker from the past or present. Part of the value of the letter is to gear your thinking towards gratitude. Writing the letter, even if it isn't sent, would do just that. The purpose of your letter is very simple to express love and gratitude. Don't worry if you're awkward at writing letters. This isn't a contest from the head, but a gift from the heart. If you can't think of much to say, start with a short little notes like, Dear Jasmine, I know a Jasmine. I woke up this morning thinking of how lucky I am to have people like you in my life. I don't know if I, you'd catch me saying that to this woman. Thank you so much for being my friend. I am truly blessed, and I love you for all the happiness and joy that life can bring. Love, Richard. Not only does writing and sending a note like this focus your attention on what's right in your life, but the person receiving it will, in all likelihood, be extremely touched and grateful. Often, this simple action starts a spiral of loving actions, whereby the person receiving your letter may decide to do the same thing to someone else, or perhaps will act and feel more loving toward others. Write your first letter this week. I'll bet you'll be glad you did. Let me just take this opportunity to say, uh, Jasmine, it's been about a year. I think about you all the time and all the joy that you brought my life. And uh, you're the one for me. And uh, let's get this back on track. And uh, my email is my whole name. I don't know if you'll be answering my calls, but uh, email. Well, anyway, I'm out of here. Um, I hope that you have a fantastic day. This has been Don't Sweat the Small Stuff, and it's all small stuff. I'm your host, Lewis, and I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.